WP Forms is a popular, powerful, and easy to use WordPress plugin that can be used to create contact forms for your WordPress website. If you're using a contact form on your website, the contact form settings on WP Forms will allow you to modify, add, or remove fields from the form and let you configure other important settings, such as where would the entries be sent once a website visitor fills up the contact form. Hi guys, this is Jaswin Valia from Team Learn Today. And in this SOP, we will learn how to configure these settings in WP Forms on your WordPress website. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, once you have logged into your WordPress website, find WP Forms in your left sidebar and just go to all forms from right here. And if you don't know how to install WP Forms or how to create a contact form with WP Forms, go check out this video right here. I'll also put it in the description box below so you can check it out later and learn how you can create a contact form using WP Forms. So once you have created your form, as you can see, I have recently created a form on June 29th and it's right here. So what I can do is I can go to edit from right here and just configure this particular form. So for each form that you create, you can go to edit from here or you can, if you want, you can go, you can go ahead and edit this form. So whatever form you need to configure, you can just choose that form and click on edit. Awesome. So as you can see, you have your name, your email and comment or message. So this is a very basic general contact form. Now, as you can see over here, you have your settings section in the left hand side. So just click on settings. And the first setting um, that you will get is the general settings. So over here, you can change the form name. You can give your form a description if you if it's not a contact form, if it's another kind of form, you can give it a description as well. You can also describe what kind of contact form it is, what you do, what uh, why would the viewer or the reader or the visitor of your website contact you and what should they tell you? So you can just write things like that in your form description and make it seem more personal. Then you have your submit button text, which basically, um, which basically is the text that would come on the button that you have while uh, the visitor is submitting the form. And then you have your submit button processing text. What does the text say when the form is being processed or submitted? Let's look at the notification settings once. You can go ahead and you can read this. Over here, notifications are emails sent when a form is submitted. By default, these emails include entry details. For setup and customization options, including a video overview, please see our tutorial. So you can look at this particular tutorial that they have. Uh, you can read up on it. They will basically tell you what the notification settings are. Now let's go back. Okay, so let's look at the default notifications once. Keep in mind that you keep the enable notifications button over here as on. You can turn it off if you want to see. It tells you heads up, you're turning the notifications off. Since entries are not stored in WP, WP Forms Lite, notification emails are recommended for collecting entry details. So it's extremely important that you keep this on. Otherwise, you will not have a stored information of the people coming into your website and sending your message or filling up your contact form. You have your send to email address, which is basically when um, a viewer or a visitor, they fill up the form, where would the entry details go? So this could be your email address. You can add multiple email addresses here. Admin underscore email basically means the email that you use as an admin to log into your WordPress website on your WordPress dashboard, right? So that email address is your admin underscore email. You can give it a comma and you can write another email over here as well if you want. So for example, this is my second email that I have written, okay? So now whenever I get, uh, I get a new entry on my WP form, contact form, I will be getting a notification about that entry detail in these two email addresses. So this is something that you can do. Then you have the email subject line. It will be, it will just say new entry. And then the name of the form, which the viewer or the visitor is filling up. 
As you can see, the from name over here is mentioned as Jaswin Vagya. Now, I don't want it to be mentioned as Jaswin Vagya. Otherwise, I might not be able to get the whole uh, name of the person who's filling out the form. So what I can do is I can just go to show smart tax from here. And the available fields right here is name. And as you can see, it just says field underscore ID is equals to zero, which is basically the name field right here. So if I click on name and if I go to field options, you can see that the name is ID number zero, right? So I would like to keep it as field ID and, uh, zero. Um, and there's also a few uh, settings that you would you would want to change if you are, you know, sending a confirmation email to the person who's filling the form. In that case, you would probably want to change the form name from your field ID zero to something else like your brand name. So all of that is explained right here. As you can see, however, if you're creating a notification to send as a confirmation to the person who filled out the form, you may want to uh, change it to your company's name. So all of that is explained over here. And let's go back for now. I'll just delete this particular thing and move forward. Your from email, which is the admin email. Then you have the reply to email address and it says field underscore ID is equals to one, which basically means the, uh, let me see the fields right here. Number one field over here may be email as name I think would be field zero. So number one field would be email over here. Reply to email address would be your field ID one. And your email message is basically all fields, which means the all the fields in your contact form. So I guess you now understand all the notification settings that are here. Then we have our confirmation settings. All right. So default confirmation would basically have the message, either the show page or uh, go to URL. So this is basically the confirmation message, which is shown to the viewer once they have submitted the form. So you can either decide to show them or display a message saying, thanks for contacting us. We will be touch. We will be in touch with you shortly. Or it could just say, uh, successful, your form has now been so submitted. Whatever you wanted to say, you can just write over here. Or you can show them a page. You can decide to show them a particular page, take them to your homepage or any other page that you have. Or you can just redirect them to a URL. Um, for example, your YouTube channel, your Instagram page, um, some other page, some other website, some other landing page, whatever you want, you can put the link right here. Okay. And you can add this new confirmation from here. And, and those are your editing that you can do with all the fields or a particular contact form. And you can configure your contact form using these general notification and confirmation settings. Hope you guys were able to understand how you can configure your WP forms for your website. I will be coming up with a lot of videos related to digital marketing tools. So stay tuned for that. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit on that like button, subscribe button, along with the notification bell icon so that you can get updates on whenever we come up with new videos. If you have any questions, any queries, or any suggestions of what kind of videos you would want to see on the Learn Today channel, let me know in the comment section down below. This is Jaswin Valia, and I will see you in our next SOP.